chicken schnitzel, chicken schnitty, chicken parmi, chicken parmigiana. These are all great Australian iconic dishes found in every club, pub, restaurant and cafe. I'm positive that every single person watching this has their own opinion on how they should be cooked or what, how they're meant to look. But today, it's all about the chicken schnitzel recipe. We're gonna start from scratch. It's gonna start with chicken breast. I'm gonna show you how to season your breadcrumbs and get the best tasting flavor at home. And we're also gonna garnish it with a homemade gravy. All right guys, let's go. You wanna put the chicken into the flour like so. You wanna make sure that it gets a good coating. Press it right in like that. And it should come out looking something like that. In goes one tablespoon of a garlic, onion and pepper mix. Next one is one tablespoon of paprika. That's literally all the spices that you need to mix. Here's the part where we get wet hands. I'm gonna try to keep a wet hand and a dry hand. Submerge your floured piece of chicken, lift it out and let it drip, and then it goes back into the crumbs. Same again. It's where your dry hand comes in handy. All right, now after you've added the crumbs, your chicken should look like that. Okay, now we wanna chop up all the ingredients for our homemade gravy. You just want it to be in some rough chopped pieces like that. The time can go in just like that. It's better off in big pieces because that's gonna break down in the pot. All right, now it's time to start the gravy. So you wanna start off with some butter. Now as that's melting, it's time to add the shallots as well as the garlic. A couple of tablespoons of flour. We just wanna cook that all down together for a second. Once it all combines, it's time to add the stock. Just wanna slowly keep adding to it. All right, I'm just adding a stock cube now just to give it that better color. I want to put some of that fresh thyme in there now. All right, while the gravy's sitting there, it's time to put in some oil and get it up to temperature. It's saying it's 304 degrees. It's just a $20 thermometer that I got from Bunnings. It's uh, nothing special, but it does, it does do the job. All right, we've just come up to temperature now. I like to put the chicken in away from myself so you don't burn yourself. Just lay them in there. All right, now once you've taken the gravy off the uh, oven over there, it's time to whisk and make sure that you get all of those solid pieces out so you've got a nice silky smooth gravy to serve. So that's just about done now. Take that out. All right, now you want to transfer this into a pouring jug. Oh, look at that. All right, guys, now that only leaves one more thing and that's the taste test. And while I'm cutting this and about to try it, if you could do me a great favor, click the like and the thumbs up button and click the subscribe button. <laughs> I always do that, I say the two things at the same time. If you could click the like button, please, and the subscribe button while I'm tasting this, that'd be much appreciated. Unfortunately, Jesse's away on tennis. Guys, that is a recipe that you are gonna love as much as we do here. All the best and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers guys.